What's up, boozos? The I'm Conjuring. So whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't think it was that exciting. (laughs) We just rewatched it because we got confused. I got confused. (laughs) She got very confused. I was so convinced that I convinced Becky that she was confused. (laughs) Yeah. I was not as confused as she was. Although I will admit that I did not remember the ending of this. This is from 2013. We actually went to go see this in the theater together along with a family member. (laughs) And I... (laughs) I I knew. I not remember any of it. I had no idea. I was thinking of a totally different movie. She was movie. thinking of a completely different movie, which she still hasn't rewatched and needs to get on top of that shit. I did rewatch We got a channel to run here. Yesterday All 16 afternoon. people. All 16 people depend on us. And I had to turn on the lights. Mm-hmm. I turned them on for you. I didn't remember being that scary, I guess, because we were laughing at her. Yeah, <laughs> she was. I remember her yelling and screaming. In the theater, which was hilarious, but it yeah. didn't scare me the first time. No. I rewatched it. It scared me. Oh my gosh, I screamed out loud so many times. I don't think it was as good as everyone hyped it up to be, but, you know, oftentimes that would be the case. But this one was pretty, pretty freaky. Oh my gosh, when it jumps off the uh, board wall. Armoire. What? Well, I mean, there's so many different words. The ship robe. The... the Oh my gosh, you know, the language in the guy wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> the wardrobe. Yeah, this movie scared the crap out of me. Lots of jump scares. I think this is the most jump scare y. The best jump scares. That we've seen in a long time. <laughs> Don't you know? It follows investigators, paranormal investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Warren. And a family of five girls, a mom and a dad, they move into this brand new house. And of course, creepy it's things. It's not a brand new house. It's brand well, new brand new, new to them. Yeah, I watched this by myself the second time around in the basement we doing have laundry. It yeah. She was hollering down the hall, watching it by herself. The jump scares are so good. And I want to talk about each and every one of them, but I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it or even if you haven't seen it in a while. The it's... newest one is. It, it just came out. It just came out. But I heard it was not nearly as good as the first. Probably not. They never, they very today. rarely are. And it's related to the Annabelle one as well. Touch over a couple other things on Ed and Lorraine, uh, yeah. but mostly it's centered They're around demonomi- his family. Demonologists? <laughs> Demonologists. They're paranormal investigators is what they claim to be. Yeah, but they teach... Demonology. <laughs> that makes it sound so, I don't know, like a metal band. The ending is what I really didn't remember from the original time we went to go see it. the rest of the film, the ending wasn't that good. I did not like the ending. Um, I thought it was kind of cool that they had, like, different ghosty, evil spirit type things in the house, but they were focusing in on the one, and it ends up being That's a funny. witch. So that was kind of dumb. But, I mean, there's really nothing that could surprised me at that point yeah and of course which is trying to get to the mother who's trying to get her to kill her children sacrifice her children whatever and they kill herself blah 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 yeah the witch was pretty scary the first few times you see her it was least. more of like a demon yeah well of course she was at that point she was doing it for satan so satan probably made her a demon imdb rates this a 7.5 out of 10 7.5 We're going to wait on you. You know, the actual film itself isn't that great, nor the story, but I'm going to give it an 8 just for the jump scares. I would say 8 if the time that I had just watched it was the first, but it wasn't the first time I had watched it, and it didn't leave a lasting impression on me. I didn't, I couldn't even remember what the... I completely forgot about it. Yeah, I'd say between a 7 and an 8, probably right on par with IMDb, 7 and a half was pretty good. I don't think it was the scariest thing to ever come out, um, no. like they claimed. I also... They claimed that about every scary movie. Well, they claimed that this family this family was real, that's for sure. And they, they claimed they that this pictures, is... They pictures, but... Yeah, they claimed that this was a legit haunting and blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and leave us a comment down below. What did you think of this movie? We have not seen the second one. We will get around to it, maybe. Yeah. If you're lucky.
Make sure to get all up in that social media. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and subscribe and like this video and all of our videos. And subscribe to the church. Uh. <laughs> Did, yeah. I, did I mention you should subscribe? Follow us and share us. Yeah. Not in like real life, but on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next time around. Stay awesome. Keep moving. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>